Hello everyone, thanks for tuning into today's second video. We're going to have a look at the ECM WFX extended model for today's second video. So uh, this is the 30 day extended European outlook and I shall get on with that for you in a moment. Just say that first video is there with our 6 day UK weather forecast. And there's a 10 to 14 day with all of the regular features on the way later on this afternoon as well. Please like, share and subscribe on all of today's videos and content. Make sure to everybody for uh, doing that for uh, Gaz Weather. So thank you so much to ECMWF.int for supplying the charts and the dates as well, by the way. Thank you so much, EC. Uh, right, let's start off week one. Mean sea of pressure anomaly for uh, Europe. Taking us through week. We're currently in the 19th, 26th of August. So low pressure dominating in the North Atlantic into northern of West Europe with quite a strong West ejection as well. We've got some high pressure down towards the uh, Azores and back out into the Atlantic. However, overall, it looks like there's quite a low pressure around in the week ahead. This is how the 500 millibar height to dominate. It's looking the Arctic and North Pole view down. Plenty of low pressure in the North Atlantic into Northern Europe as well. Again, quite a strong westy jet stream punching its way through high pressure through the atlantic and a ridge here across some um, uh, western to central and eastern parts of europe so temperature anomalies uh, this week are looking like this with uh, cooler than average temperatures to the uk and ireland and also large portions of france as well as into the low countries belgium holland and the netherlands and southern parts of norway having some cooler than average temperatures as well around the west coast of portugal a little bit on the cool side there and also perhaps some of the greek islands down here too however many areas are hotter than average too so much of spain and portugal coming out hotter than average we also see um sweden Sweden, Finland, and particularly up towards the Arctic regions, uh, with uh, temperature at about three to six degrees above average. Many central eastern parts of Europe are uh, above average, particularly so in the east, actually. So around Ukraine to the Black Sea, down towards Romania, there we see again three to six degrees above average. So generally hotter in the east and cooler. In the west, but not quite that straightforward. And as far as rainfall is concerned for Europe, so it's wetter than average for Ireland, Scotland, and also Norway to west part of Sweden, and also into Italy over the Adriatic, over the Adriatic to the Balkans. Wetter than average through there as well. But some areas are dry, so western parts of Spain and Portugal are drier than average, while eastern Spain a little bit wetter. Uh, some parts of France also a little bit wetter. Interestingly, drier but North, low countries to Germany, generally dry, but wetter through Poland up to Belarus, and some of the Baltic Sea states of Latvia, Estonia, and Lithuania look a little bit wetter too. Wales, Sweden, and Finland are dry, and around Black Sea, relatively dry as well, but just a bit wetter down towards Greece. So, very, very variable with precipitation this week. Lots and lots of regional variation all over the place. Well, week two will be the 26th of August to the 2nd of September with high pressure then building over the northern and eastern side of Europe. All that pressure getting pushed out into the Atlantic. That's going to try and turn the wind into an easterly or a southeasterly, which could be a very warm and or hot wind direction, particularly through uh, western parts of Europe, with, with winds coming up potentially from the south there. 500 millibar heights look like that. So again, we've got trough in the Atlantic, but the ridge is across eastern and also northeast parts of Europe, and that brings winged up from uh, the south there, particularly, potentially through Western Europe. The temperature anomalies are lifting up. Most places going uh, above average with the temperature anomaly, though Portugal could still be a little bit up the cool side. The core, or core of an average, will still, will still be hot for Portugal, don't worry. Um, but Eastern Europe, that's where the core of the heat is. Again, 3 to 6 degrees temperature anomaly above average. But many parts of Europe coming out around 1 to 3 degrees uh, above average. So, a much warmer week, especially so through these uh, western parts of the Europe. And rainfall-wise, many areas are pretty dry, though still some above as rainfall for Ireland in towards um, parts of uh, the UK. And uh, going down in towards the central portion of the Mediterranean, so Corsica, Sardinia, Sardinia, Italy, possibly towards Greece and Turkey as well, a little bit wetter through there. But these are the exceptions. Many areas are actually dry under that area of high pressure, right away from Spain and Portugal and southwest up towards northwestern uh, Russia we see 
a large swathe of driving average condition. Week 3 will be the 2nd to the 9th of September. More changes with high pressure then in the North Atlantic. Low pressure down towards Spain. Um, and otherwise, large portions of Europe, perhaps with no signal, so let's put in a question mark, and move on to 500 millibar heights. So that still shows quite a big ridge, though, dominating across many parts of Europe, which you don't get from the mean cell pressure anomaly. So it could be a trough through here, this white area, but still generally pulling the wind up themselves across those western portions of Europe. Temperature normally generally above average in most areas, perhaps cooling down a little bit for Ireland and Northern Britain, anyway. And uh, still, a uh, slight, of course, side towards Portugal, could be average side towards Portugal. But otherwise, most areas above average with temperature normally. And again, we still see the core of the heat, actually, interestingly, towards that eastern side of uh, Europe again. And as far as temptation goes, well, we can see signal because we're three weeks out, but still many areas are coming out drier than uh, normal once again, particularly in the east of Europe, but also in some western areas as well. Week 4 will be the 9th to 16th of September. So uh, this week starts to bring some lower pressure into play, perhaps across some parts of Europe and out into the Atlantic as well. It is quite a... A weak anomaly, though. 500 millibar heights, looking like that. Some higher pressure, weekly, down towards France and Spain. Otherwise, not a lot to work with. Temperature anomalies look like they're gradually easing backwards, um, especially through western portions of Europe. Still above average in the south and also in the east. And precipitation anomalies... Very weak signal now, but wetter than average, perhaps across the more southern parts of Europe, and maybe out into the Atlantic Ocean as well. Right, well, that's your 30 day look, Kate Dunn, but let's go through weeks 5 and 6 data, because why not? <laughs> so, week 5 will be the 16th, 23rd of September. With uh, plenty of low pressure appearing across northern Europe, then, so turning more unsettled, perhaps into the second half of September. 500 millibar heights raise pressure across southern Europe. Could have some low pressure through here, though. Temperature anomalies are cooler than average to the northwest of Europe, up there. Uh, otherwise, many areas, though, coming out with uh, above average temperatures and precipitation. Week 5, very weak signal as always by the fifth week, but does look a little bit wetter through the north of the Atlantic and into far north Europe maybe. And then week 6, we were 23rd to 30th of September, so this week has some higher pressure up towards Greenland, low pressure in Scandinavia, could that bring the wind into more of a northerly? Potentially, what about 500 millibar heights? Well, that is showing... Above average heights in the Atlantic and across southern parts of Europe again. Could there be a trough through there? Maybe. It's a possibility. And temperature anomalies still largely above average. Precipitation anomalies wetter than average through the north and west of Europe. Otherwise, um, not much of a signal. Always gets weak with temperature and precipitation, particularly precipitation in the latter weeks. Right, okay, well, that's your first day. Okay, don't enjoy the forecast. Please like, share, and subscribe. Make sure you do that. We will have another extended European outlook for you next Tuesday. And the shorter range, detailed European outlook will be released on Thursday. We will also have a look at this model again on Friday evening with a UK and Ireland focus video. So lots and lots to look forward to in terms of the long range or the medium range um, in uh, the next a few days. You're going to be back a little bit later on. You're taking a 14 day. Come back for that later. For this one, though, that's all for now. And thanks for watching.